Today, we're going to take a look at eight altcoins under eight minutes, giving you guys a sneak peek as to why I believe you should have these altcoins before the end of 2024. Yes, we are in the boring zone right now, but don't worry. I do believe, you know, we are going to get a leg up towards the end of Q4 2024 into Q1 2025. And I do believe 2025 is going to be a year you're not going to want to miss if you are in crypto. So if you are new to the channel, my name's Eric. Have a look at the description below. You can sign up for the VIP Discord. Get special private access to projects that are launching you're going to get access to them before they launch to the public. You're also going to be able to see what I am buying and selling so much more. But don't worry, we still have a free community. Have a look at those links. And of course, if you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe. So we've all been there. We've all typed into YouTube. What altcoin should I be buying now or which crypto should I be buying and let's take a look at crypto number one. So crypto number one is going to be Superverse. This is in the gaming narrative and what Superverse is trying to cater to. They are trying to bring all of the top games together under one ecosystem, eventually having their own coin where you're going to be able to use the super coin to traverse into all of these different top gaming ecosystems that have their own games so think of every single game that is you know played by the most amount of people in crypto gaming all partnered with the superverse and of course you're going to be able to buy the super coin and essentially just play any game that you want because it's all affiliated with superverse they are trying to unite and unify crypto gaming and i do believe that crypto gaming is going to have a massive comeback in this bull market superverse right now sitting at 67 cents a market cap of 300 million and let me just take a look at what happened in march this thing was at about a dollar 50 and we do have some pretty exciting news today coming out of superverse they are actually partnering with millions of users on ton and telegram so they are basically partnering with ton station which is a massive ecosystem of of course gaming on ton which is of course a telegram which brings me to coin number two ton coin so the main reason why i am bullish on ton coin is because this is the telegram coin a telegram has over 900 million monthly active users you're gonna tell me well they're not all in crypto i 100 percent agree with you but it goes to show that the application itself is being utilized by millions and millions of people worldwide now we've all seen what has happened recently with the founder of a telegram and being indicted in france it's absolutely crazy but ultimately these are still you know ongoing so do follow that in close attention if you are paying close attention to ton coin but looking at ton right now we can see that it is around five dollars and fifty cents a 13 billion dollar market cap fully dilution of 28 billion and if we take a look at you know before this news broke out ton was sitting right around a seven dollars so i am still ultimately bullish on a ton and i actually just purchased some today around a five dollars and a fifty cents now moving on to crypto number three we can talk about another crypto gaming and i am targeting more of the ecosystems the infrastructure of crypto gaming of course this is not an extensive list i do have a specific games as well but if we take a look at the next one on the list here, we have a Beam, a subnet of AVAX. Beam being an infrastructure play here for crypto gaming. A lot of different games and studios are actually building with Beam, launching their games on a Beam. And of course, Beam is a part of a bigger ecosystem with AVAX being, you know, the L1 that is also very, very active in crypto gaming. So right now beam sitting at a 735 million dollar company a fully diluted market cap of 900 million and taking a look at you know where beam has been over its last year or so during the rebrand we have seen being around four cents 
right now it's sitting at a cent and a half so i definitely am invested in beam i do think good things are coming to this ecosystem so this is again another play that i am holding for my crypto gaming narrative now moving on to another narrative if we take a look at meme coins meme coins are doing crazy things in this cycle if we you know rewind back to march meme coins were going absolutely crazy and i do think we are going to continue seeing some of that crazy movement into q4 as well as into 2025 some of the coins i am looking at is of course the more popular ones you can go and pick any of these meme coins but i am looking at dog with hat so with on solana i mean it is kind of down right now around a dollar fifty of course, it was right around, you know, $4.80 back in March. Absolutely crazy. Still a relatively high valuation for meme coins. But if you compare it to Doge, it's absolutely peanuts. But ultimately, I am bullish on Solana. So coincidentally, I am bullish on WIF as well. It is right around $1.50 right now. It did go as low as a dollar during a crash earlier in August. But I am paying close attention to WIF as it is one of the meme coins I hold for this bull market. And I do believe that with Solana probably going to new all-time highs, I would imagine that WIF is going to be one meme coin to reckon with. Now on the same line, because I am bullish on the base blockchain, well, Brett is the number one meme coin on the base blockchain. So it kind of goes hand in hand. If I believe the base blockchain is going to attract more users, with the Coinbase exchange, everybody is going to be on the base blockchain. Well, ultimately, what are they going to be looking at? They're going to be looking at meme coins on base and what not to like about Brett. So Brett here, definitely not as high as WIF, definitely not as high as, let's say, Pepe on Ethereum. But we have a market cap of 800 million here. If we take a look at what has happened to Brett, well, back in June, this thing was around 17, 18 cents. So, of course, we are down once again on this coin. Now, coin number six on the same line of the base ecosystem. And you're seeing a recurring theme here. We have different narratives, different ecosystems that we're bullish on. And we have here the number one decentralized exchange on the base of blockchain with Aerodrome Finance, surpassing some of the volume on Uniswap as well as actually generating more revenue than a Uniswap on a given day. So this is definitely an exchange to be reckoned with because all of the users have to essentially use Aerodrome Finance to transact on a base. If you want to buy a coin, go from, let's say, Aerodrome to another coin, let's say, Brett, or let's say you want to go from USDC and buy Brett, well, you're likely using Aerodrome if you're using a decentralized exchange. And taking a look at where Aero has been in the past, well, back in March, this thing was around at $2.15. And as we can see right now, it is kind of consolidating around this 60 cent level. Right now, sitting at 62 cents with a market cap of just shy of 400 million. Now, the last two, very rapidly, because I am still trying to make this under eight minutes. We have an AI narrative play. There are so many different AI plays out there. But I am a big believer that Render, even though it's down 6% today at $5.20, it was one of the first movers back in March. It did reach about $13 and it is right now back around $5. And I do believe that with the AI crave that we are seeing with, you know, decentralized cloud computing, this is going to be a crypto project to be reckoned with. Do not underestimate Render, and they are also migrating and are in the process of continuing to migrate to the Solana blockchain. So, of course, it kind of goes hand in hand with the Solana bullishness. Now, last but not least, an RWA play, an Oracle play, and of course, a tokenization play. We can talk about Chainlink, one of the behemoths here in that space especially in the interoperability and tokenization of assets we have here sitting at about 11 dollars and let me remind you where chainlink was just in march it was at 20 dollars right around 21 dollars back in march it is now sitting at a 6.6 .6 billion dollar market cap 
And don't forget that Chainlink is quite literally everywhere. So another one I have for my other narratives. So let me know in the comment section below if I made this video under eight minutes, but these are eight coins that I am, you know, either holding or heavily looking to invest in. I do like all of these. These are my opinions, of course. But in 2025, I will, you know, put my money where my mouth is. Hopefully all these coins are higher than they are today. And we can come back to this video and laugh about these prices. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, smash the like button, subscribe to the channel, and I'll catch you guys in my next video. Peace.